Good morning. Good morning. What are you doing? Drywall. Do you, you guys might remember this little alcove. Do you guys remember when we had to do a, like fix a leak here? This is the little side job we're, we're working on. I hate drywall. But the real question is, do you want to eat a snow cone? Yes. <laughs> Where can we buy a snow cone right now? That's a good question. I feel like there's probably a snow cone place in Orlando. All right, four hours later, we're done. I didn't actually do anything. Tim did all of this, but check it out. He did a little drywall patch, and then he put some texturing over the patch that he did, and some drywall mud. What do you think? I still hate drywall, but it's not bad. I'm glad that we I finished the texture and everything. Yeah, it looks good. So now it's just kind of dry, and then I gotta come back and paint it, and then yay! Should be done. <laughs> yeah. Happy Monday, everybody! Woo! Yeah, uh, it's 5 30 in the afternoon. I worked today. I did like a side job where we had to take some cabinets out of a house and, and Jen worked too. Jen worked too. She's in the other room. She just finished editing yesterday's video, which didn't take her very long because it was really short. I'm sorry about that, but we were really tired from the weekend. Feel a little bit better now because I just ate a bunch of candy, which I'm kind of upset was not chocolate. Like I know that a lot of people like other types of candy, like Airheads and Smarties and all like, you know, like sugary, fruity tasting things. Smarties are chocolate in the UK. Sorry for you guys from the UK. We have Smarties over here that aren't chocolate. They're just like candy pills almost, like just sugar squished together into like a disc form. Does that make any sense? <laughs> uh, so those, and I don't like, they're, they taste good the first one but then after you're done eating them you got like this taste in your mouth and you're like i wish i hadn't eaten any of those things and that's how i feel right now but after chocolate you're always like i'm glad that i ate that because it was delicious the idea was to come home after the job and go swimming but there is something wrong with florida right now it's just like hey we're gonna dump a whole boatload of rain on you and you gotta deal with it so yeah florida Woo! At least like our pool is staying full, which is nice, I guess. But I feel like I just filled it the other day. Ugh. Oh yeah, you getting all wet, Bandit? You enjoying it? No? You don't like it? Armani hates the rain, but he's like just out there. Normally I'd say something like, well, I mean, it doesn't really matter because it's not thunder and lightning, but it's going to be cold if we go in that pool, so I don't want to do that. We just watched the newest... I'm still going, by the way. We just watched the newest Saturday Night Live with Star-Lord, and there were some funny parts, but for the most part, Saturday Night Live has gotten, like, kind of strange. It's a little bit strange. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I feel that Saturday Night Live was the best when I was in high school, which was like, who was that? I don't even know who was in it. But, oh, Will Ferrell and those guys? That was the good times. But um, maybe it's just a generational thing. Like, I'm sure that some people that are in high school now or younger are just watching Saturday Night Live that are like, maybe new to it that didn't know the people that I knew or knew them but didn't think they were funny, think this new one's funny. So that's why I was thinking maybe it's a generational thing, like maybe it's just because that's what I grew up with. Just like, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but the music that you guys are listening to now as kids or as you guys as adults listened to when you were younger, that's your favorite kind of music. Like we all grew up with that music in our formidable years of being a teenager and that's the kind of music that we prefer. Am I right or am I wrong? I guess not because I kind of like country music now. Hmm. We're going to watch Cloud Atlas now because, uh, I don't know, never seen it. Might as well give it a try. I wanted to tell you guys, we know that we haven't done a mail vlog in a long time, but we're going to do it um, as a live show. We just have to figure out what the best time to do it is because as you guys know, we've been very busy lately. I know I'm like, we're just watching Cloud Atlas tonight, but it's because we work today. So it's like we're tired and we didn't tell anybody today. So maybe we'll do it. We'll do it soon. That's what'll happen. We'll do it soon and we'll tweet it out and we'll put it out on Facebook and all that other good stuff. When we're gonna do it and then you guys can come to the YouTube channel, it'll be live on the YouTube channel and you guys can watch us open up the mail and stuff like that. But that whole thing started out with me showing you guys what we're eating. I'm eating leftover beanie weenies <laughs> with a salad. What oh, is this no. like? Oh yeah. It looks really gross actually. Look how gr what does that look like? It looks like baby poop. It kind of looks like peanut butter to me, but also baby poop. Oh yeah, <laughs> um, peanut butter. But it's, This is a... It's a public salad. Public honey ginger salad. But it's got it's got honey ginger dressing, and then there's like little um, soybeans and pineapple. And it's delicious. Yeah, and I think kale. And Jen's eating this Simply Asian salad that just steamed up the lens for a second. Soup. Soup. It's a soup, not a salad. <laughs> We've been watching Cloud Atlas 
That is a very difficult movie to follow because there's like six stories going on at one time. Pretty ridiculous. So here's the issue with a movie that has six storylines going on in it. You don't have enough time to finish one storyline. Like this was like a three hour long movie and it was just disappointing. Like literally none of the storylines made any sense. They're supposed to all intertwine with each other but they don't. They were just pretty much the same story. And, I don't know, it just wasn't... Don't watch it. No. I wouldn't do it. Oh, no. Nothing really was like... There wasn't any... You know how like mo or storylines have like a story and then there's a climax and then there's a fall of action and then like that's the end of the story? I feel like the, this, this talk that you're having is kind of like how the movie was. Yeah. <laughs> It was just like, oh, I totally forgot. See, Tom Hanks played like six different characters and I forgot that there was another one that he played. There was a dude in the beginning that he played that he killed somebody and it was just like, what the heck? I don't even Halle remember Berry, that happening. Halle Berry played the old Asian man. Yeah. Here's the other part is everybody had like six different characters that they played and it was just weird. Why did they do that? Why did they make, I don't know, Susan Sarandon play a guy? Why did they make the guy that was Mr. Smith or whatever from The Matrix play like this giant nurse lady? None of it really makes any sense. Like, you have enough people to to do the storyline without doing that. I think it was to show their like range. Ooh, that that sums up the movie right there. Oh no. I yawn. The guy from The Matrix that I was talking about is Hugo Weaving. Maybe it was to save on the, like the budget because there were so many stories they didn't want to pay like six salaries to different actors. They're like, if we just pay one actor one salary, we'll get them to play six parts. How about that? All right, here's the plan. Tomorrow, we're gonna have like a fantastic super fun time vlog. Cause like, I, I feel like I've been letting you guys down for the past two days, because we're like, theme parks, theme parks, horror nights, horror nights, sleep, sleep. And we can't do that. We have to like, we gotta get up and do stuff, right? Because we're not doing anything other than watching a terrible movie for three hours. Don't watch that movie. Um, so, I'm gonna go to bed now. We're gonna wake up in the morning. Tomorrow will be a fantastic day. We're gonna do a lot of stuff. Of course, I still have to work tomorrow, but after we're done working, We'll do a lot of fun stuff, and then, uh, I don't know, the next day we'll do fun stuff. Fun stuff will happen. So I will see you guys tomorrow, and now it's time to pay the price.